What's up guys, hope you're doing great, it's your boy Kobe Shots. In today's video, we're gonna look at how I created this rainfall look in my house. <laughs> it was just my compound and uh, I wanna show you how I accomplished this look. So without much ado, let us get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna mention the few things that I used in this shoot, of course. I couldn't have done this without assistance, but for the most part, we needed water. So there's a tap right in our compound and that's what I connected a tube, or should I say a hose, to the tap and it was running and so it went all the way through the tube and I had to compress some pressure to be able to sprinkle the water. All right, so the catch over here was that I needed to get the water to be seen. And so for the most part, um, my subject, even though he was in the dark, I needed him to be illuminated as well as a selective color for the rain. So the light that was coming from the umbrella that you see him holding as a prop in the shot is actually having a light planted in there with a glue gel. And so the light is shooting downward and how I actually planted this light was just with the help of an adhesive tape and I connected it just right in there in the umbrella and so I took some shots trying my best to avoid the look of the light to actually show up in the shot. So the light is planted in the umbrella and you can see it. So the reason why I selected a blue color for my subject is that I wanted him to stand out from the whole look. So first of all, my background is in the dark because we shot outdoor and was in the night and so i needed to select my subject out of the background and so i chose a color that will make him very distinct from the color of light that i was going to have my rainfall get into all right so this is it i had an assistant standing opposite the direction of my camera and with the help of the hose and with the help of my brother who was serving as an assistant as well he sprinkled the water from above in a regular manner so that the water would just fall directly in the shot as well as on the umbrella and of course the effect of the umbrella drilling down with water as well as the rainfall drilling down coming all the way from the top downwards in that manner I was going to get illuminated by the light that was being shown from the opposite direction to the lens and so with a different color a warm temperature or tungsten temperature from the lights that was serving as a backlight for first of all my subject to be rimmed out of the background the dark background for that matter and also to illuminate the rainfall was just the catch so i used complementary colors a warm tone against a cool tone where the cool tone was to shine from the umbrella within the space to shine downwards towards my subject and so my subject was actually carved out of the background. All right, so I needed just two lights for the setup and it was just about that. So here, all that you need is the tap, a hose to direct the water from the tap all the way to where whoever it is, being your assistant is standing, and the uh, water drilling down, coming from the hose being sprinkled out all the way from above downwards towards the umbrella and also drilling down the umbrella to create that illusion of a rainfall, even though there wasn't necessarily a rainfall. So here, you're going to need more than just the things I've just spoken about. You're also going to be very conscious about how you frame or how you compose your shot and to try and illuminate every ambiguity or anything that will give it away that it wasn't actually a rainfall. All right, so here, I need to protect my um, my lens and so I covered it up with something little uh, not so much and uh, could protect it a little bit away from the water that was coming down and also you can see in this shot that there is a practical light which is actually a household light that shines during the evening to illuminate the environment so we can see our way around and that was what I actually brought into the shot and you see a ladder there in the shot also as a prop and so these elements actually form part of the background and it just did me just a good job and uh, in the end i love the composition from shooting directly towards the subject to the front as well as a side view and that's basically how i came about this particular shoot so if you want to try this out you can just use just about anything that i spoke about all the things i spoke about the water hose 
you need a tap, a running tap for that matter. You need lights, two lights for you know separation so that you can separate your subject from any other prop that's within the shot. An umbrella to protect your subject from the rain, also to make sense that this is actually a rainfall and of course you need an umbrella to protect yourself from the rain so my subject is protecting himself from the rain as well as performing in a music video shoot so basically that's how i came about this shoot and i hope you enjoyed it if you want to try it give it a try you can just follow my lead or you can add your own spin to it to make it unique but for the most part this is what i did to arrive at these shots and yeah until the next video i'm gonna catch you later have a wonderful day See ya.